28 of the 75 hard. Just let my dog out. Time's probably about quarter past seven. It's an early start this today. I thought, you know what? I need to sort out my sleeping pattern. Need to hop on the charts. Oh. Cleaning's left the rubbish out. Oh. For God's sake, that's not what you need. That is not what you need. But yeah, oh no. I've left these food out as well. It just goes bad to worse. What a start to the day. You see, this is frozen. I have to feed him when I get back. No stress. But yeah, we had a chart analysis yesterday, so I'm gonna quickly turn on the PC. We're gonna sit down before I go for a run. I don't know really what session it is. I'm quite lost with sessions. It's either legs, back, or arms. Now, I feel like I did arms recently, but I'm gonna do it again, because it's a fun session to do, and it's a Tuesday. Do your fun sessions, build momentum at the start of the week. That's all I'm saying. I've left the fridge open, fantastic. This is what we had dialed in. So yesterday, we didn't enter any trades. We wanted to enter sales up here, didn't. We thought we'd be patient and wait for the right entry. Now, as you can see, we've got RuneScape loading up. Yes, I like a bit of RuneScape. Trade's not really done much. We wicked out at the bottom. During Asia, we sold off a little bit and now we're seeing a push to the upside. Nothing's actually happened. I mean, this is 26.37, that's 26.67. We're looking bullish. Ah, it's looking bullish, but when you think about it, the 4H, we've just tested up here. So the 4H is tested here. We've gone up high, we've come down low, and now we've pulled up the 1H, high lows. So if we are selling, you know, you've got the wicks at the top, and also this could just be a retest here for the previous high lows. And then we're gonna continue to set off. So looking at this chart breakdown, it's hard to manage where where it's gonna go, but technically we're in a descending channel. So actually we're gonna put our SL just above this wick, nice and tight SL, entries 48. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna hold to the previous lower high high, which was a new spike, which is currently 26.27. So we should be able to catch a nice 10 to one trade and let's see how it plays out. Not only early, to be fair, it's not actually that early. It just feels early. Yeah, I was just saying to myself, it feels early, but it's not early, but it, it is sort of early. To, to be fair, the time I go to the gym these days, it's about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. By that time I'm fully up, I've had a coffee, that sort of stuff, I'm awake. I used to train properly. I used to do a lot of running and gym in the morning. Used to be at the gym 4-7, which was about a 20 minute journey as well in the car. So I used to have a really good morning routine and then I stopped. When I feel like when you want to get up, when you want to take on the world. Yeah, I feel like when you want to take on the world and all that sort of stuff, <clears throat> you want to get up and go. So you need to find that, that something inside yourself, the fire in the belly, they, they say. But just that something that's, you know, be excited for the day. Don't look at a day as, like, oh, I've got to do this today. You need to change the perspective of how you start your day. Be like, you know, you're blessed to wake up. The reasons why you want to wake up, you've got a good day ahead of you. Exciting gym session, you're excited about work, <clears throat> which is why you got to do something that you enjoy. And all of the people watching right here, you need to make money with no fucking job. And that would never happen anyway, because you always can make money doing something online. <laughs> But yeah, don't stay at something you don't enjoy it. Life's way too short, man. You don't know what's around the corner. Anything can fucking happen. So that's why you gotta look at it as a blessing. But moving forward, we're running to the to the gym today. It's about half seven. We're in gold cells holding. <sighs> and the reason why I'm running today is because yesterday I only did about 1.5k, which isn't good enough. Need to get about two to 3k just for a light cardio session 
just to burn some calories you know how it is i did order all the all the cold plunge stuff to clean it out obviously it's not going to get it until later so for either later on to do or for tomorrow but let me get this uh, run done nice bit of cardio done quick 16 minutes that was 2.5k which isn't fast that's the thing when you start running it's not too bad it's just getting getting out there getting into it which is why people probably you know find other hobbies like nevertheless got it done quick arm session sauna This is my own gym, by the way. Just for any, any new people watching, we're at, I built this for the TFF and then I sold TFF. So this is where we come and did podcasts. But now we have funding pairs. So we've got a new one that's launched called Funding Pairs. Here's a 100K code and here's another 100K code. Like and subscribe for more. I'm gonna be dropping them every single day in, day in the life, 75 hard challenge videos. So if you wanna be in for a chance to win a nice big size account, like and subscribe and comment something positive not negative then i'm sorry but we can't be friends <sighs> can't stand people that are toxic man even though i'm a bit toxic but for no reason <sighs> it's jarring moving forward anyway we're going to be doing uh i was going to say back then shoulders but we're actually going to do legs i just want to do a quick physique update i want to see what it's saying I've been fucked up during the weekends. I said this in yesterday's video, but I was, uh, it's my missus birthday. So kind of went overboard with certain things. Yesterday, all I had was minced meat and egg and also a Nando's chicken wrap. Today, I'm probably gonna go for a chicken and bacon wrap or tuna rice. And then for lunch, something half decent. I'm in better shape. That's a fact within the last three weeks. I'm in a lot better shape, but it's just losing losing that belly now that and this is the thing with losing weight you have to go above and beyond what you've previously done in the past if that's like not snacking for months and months just to get in a lot better shape if that's adding more cardio in to get in better shape but it's not the worst it's not the worst it really isn't it isn't too bad i'm gonna do it with this lighting as well sometimes right you can go close and do this make sure your elbows aren't going up like this high people do it like this high and then you're taking away the actual control like that your muscle is staying contra contracted i don't even know if that's the fucking right word oh fuck my arms are actually tender which means i've done this already before yeah if you just straight into a warm-up do it nice and slow and then build up the muscle as you as you keep going if anyone isn't even you know into the gym here oh, i don't blame you i don't fucking blame you but there's something about it and then you get the bug you start to get into it i'm not saying i've caught the bug but i'm into how i look you know insecure wise I just want to be in half decent shape, man, because like I'm literally my biggest hater too. Uh, right now, I still think I'm fat. I still think I'm ugly. I still think I'm fat on the face, fat on the stomach. Still disappointed in myself. You know that the, the list is endless, and I don't want to be negative in these videos. But sometimes transparency is key, as well. And um, as much as I try and be transparent, you know my own insecurities, my own individual bad traits that. I keep to one side and which is why I'm tr I'm doing this you know to make myself feel more confident in myself to make myself feel more alive more better and um just to try and make a change because where I was I was you know I've always been in half decent shape but the older I've got obviously drinking xyz just takes a toll and you become lazy and I just wanted to make some sort of you know, positive impact that I want to keep for the rest of my life. The saunas are, are <clears throat> such an amazing thing. You know, if I didn't train, I would always do saunas, but you get into ruts in life where 
you just can't be bothered, you delay it. And I was actually in the barbers and this guy was saying, you know, I haven't been to the gym in a long time, I got ill and then I just stopped. It's funny how, he's not the only one by the way, he's literally saying what everyone's been through. <clears throat> but it's mad how when you get, when you build up a river on something, you keep going, you keep building and you keep, keep climbing and then it could be holiday, you come back from holiday and it just like, vroom, and it's just like, fuck's sake, I've lost everything that I've built. And it's that mindset where it's like, oh, there's no point going back because I'm going to be starting from square one. But you're not actually starting from square one every time you take like a week off, two weeks off. Even if you took a month off, you're not starting from square one again. Same with if you mess up in your diet, it doesn't mean that you fucked up your whole year of training, your whole, you know, your goals and your ambitions. And that's something that we have to keep in mind, even with business included too. Things go wrong in business, that happens. Businesses fail, that also happens. Businesses get successful, but you got when when something bad happens, you gotta find the problem solving way to get round things. And also, if it does go bad, then you need to pick yourself back up and go again. You can't be one hundred and twenty miles per hour all the fucking time. But what you can do is is give it your best attempt every single time and slowly build your way back up. And that's the same with training, same with everything. That's why I wanted to do the seventy five hour challenge. To prove to myself, number one, uploading for 75 days roundabout then, you know, give or take Oscar edits my videos in time. Um, shout out Oscar, thank you for the thing for helping out this channel during this challenge. If I can't do 75 recording and then do 75 hard, then I just said to myself, then I'm a loser. Um, and you know, there might be a few hiccups along the way, but if I get it done, I get it done. And that's the main thing. That's the main, that was my main goal and I'm going to do it. Prove to myself and then build my momentum on that. Enough talking. Let's hit this gym workout. I know that's what you guys want to see. You want to see me lift. Make sure your elbows are locked in and don't come up here, just like that. Oh, yeah. So, just finishing off these tricep exercises and then straight into the to the big ones, the bicep. I really need to start something like boxing build a new habit a new a new cardio that i can enjoy so i can lose weight and keep fit man like <sighs> catches up to you quick and fast too <sighs> i just don't know if i should do boxing or not I'll probably get beaten up not that i'm scared about getting beaten up just don't know if i could be bothered to get beat up i just know if i got beaten up badly i'll just be like oh fuck i'm either gonna love it or hate it so that's why i don't know if i should just try it like you're only gonna love it or you're gonna hate it and the one hardest thing is just starting something like when i used to do crossfit and tried it out i was like oh no i don't do this and then as soon as i did it it was like yeah this is all right to be fair you start to build up momentum and good habits for it so let's see, let me know in the comments if I should do that as well. Let me know, I know I'll record it. Be hilarious, fuck me, be absolutely stupid. Let's get this uh, last tricep exercise and then into the bicep. Right, straight into biceps now, just quickly warmed up. Fucking curling that quick, little lightweight. <sighs> Definitely getting stronger. Got a lot of momentum going to be fair. I'm training with a top off today just to see what the physique's like, see the muscles pumped. I just can't wait for sauna. Sauna is so good. Like, England's shit weather anyway, and it's cold. And when you get in a sauna, it's just so cool. warm, so nice. Listen to meditation music for like 25 minutes. What a feeling. And that's the thing, when you get these things done, just you gotta think about what, what are you excited for? I'm excited to get in that sauna. That's all I'm excited for. So quick little bicep and then straight in. <sighs> oh. 
abs done, arms done, run done. Now sauna. All the stuff comes for the plunge today as well. I said during my run, but this is like, the plunge is like the most dreading bit, but the best bit. And like I've bought like a stopwatch lights, so I'm gonna record everything and I'll talk during it, but yeah, it's proper. It's proper. So look forward to tomorrow's video, that's all I'm saying. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough day. Sauna finished, great session today. Got the run in, got the arm session in. Come on. Gold cells, we ended twice hit SL, okay? So we're minus two percent for the week so far. But we are in gold cells running plus 20 pips, so actually only one percent down out of the account for this week. Holding for 200 plus pips, which is a 10 to 1 trade. Stay tuned. It's coming in. I'm telling you, it's coming in. Chart breakdowns. This is this earlier this morning, but I'm about to go home. I'll send another breakdown. If if people ain't doing breakdowns, then how are they trading? I don't I don't get it. You've got to have some sort of setup to take, and then you take action on it. So it's only there for my it's my knowledge, should we say actually? And it's there for other people to learn from my knowledge. Sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right. That's just how trading is. You don't look at it like one loss is the end of the world. You look at it as you learn from your losses and you're going to take losses as part of the game. So start to humble yourself. With this being said, it's just gone 10 a.m. London's been open for a minute. So now it's time to take action on the markets and go get a coffee. Come on. Okay, so this is where the liquidity grab's gonna be, in my opinion, for, for the sales. This was the SL here. We jumped in at 55, which is this level just here. We've seen it react. We've seen price come just below. So fingers crossed, this is the buyers. We wanna see it push further down here. So I'm gonna hold it and we'll see what happens. I'm half in this with the missus because we haven't eaten. I'm gonna get something called a Troya, which is like a mixed sheesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, after my hair can't get a Troya. Yeah. I don't know, this this is it can't be the best for you, but it's part it weighs in on the calories, it's fine. So yeah, plan of action. Eat this, go get a trim, and then get a Troya. Go on, eat that, check the charts. I ran this morning, so I'm allowed this. Come on. Getting a haircut right now. <laughs> Get, I'm getting the uh, the butcher treatment. <laughs> nice little Supreme and LV as well. With the Amiri oh. hat and the gold <laughs> XAU USD clipper. Come on. Only for the TJ TJFX gold kin. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, getting a nice skin fade. Come on. Cause I'm missing more than just your body. Is it too late now to say sorry? I know oh, oh, that I let you down. Come on, we got the food. <sighs> this has got to be the best. Sauce, salad, don't need that, it's pointless. Here we go. Is this bread? Oh shit, we're not allowed bread. I'm gonna take it to your bed. Take it to your bed. To your bed. Good boy. You wanna see this? It's mix. Sheesh. Look at that. Chicken and lamb with rice. And the metal with this is that you don't have too much rice because obviously it's carby. So, I'll show you what I have. Here we go. Come on. Scoop it out on the plate. We gonna party that is food. Food done. All the meat is done and dusted. Trade is running plus 80 pips, which is 4%. I've moved SL to 26.49 to secure 3% as we took a minus 2% in the morning, which means if we come back to two two six four nine, sorry, so I'm eating as well. We then secure three percent, which means out of today we are up one percent. At hundred pips, I'm going to close 
which means I'm up 3% today. Let's fucking go. It is currently just turned 1 p.m. or turning 1 p.m. I'm actually closing out my trade now for a plus 4%, which means we are now up 2% for the day, slash 2% for the week. Got out of the minus 2% which we hit on these cells, which is why you always stick to your trading plan. One more, I would have stopped. That's why you always stick to your trading plan. 4% secured. We was down 2%. So like, free and I'm out. That's how I do it. Free trade, free losses, I'm out. Yeah, free losses. And I won't have entered anymore, but 4% up 2% today, slash for the week. Um, that's trading. If I want to stop for the rest of the week, I can. If I want to continue, it's up to me. I'm, still, I'm up 2% so I can risk the percent if I want to. Wait for another setup to take place. And that's what's key. A lot of people hold in them situations. They'll hold out their trade, come back to entry, and they're still 2% down. With me, it's all about securing and not getting any losses. And that's the difference between my, me, myself as a trader, and other people trading. They can't take their money. I need a piss now. Ah, this is why trading gold is quite difficult when sending it into a group. Because I was about to enter cells at 26.61 which was uh you know the one h previous one h last few minutes zoom, just zomped all the way down could have had sl entry right now we're gonna see rejection off of this wick here which is understandable and then i was aiming for minimum 26.63 maybe we can get a retest back up and then jump in i will update you but the wick touch this should sell and let's see if i've missed it i've missed it okay so i've just jumped in gold buys sent it to the platinum and free trading group i'm in as you can see 3.0 buys here and also chart breakdown sent we've touched here new hours open so we're going to see some sort of rejection when the hour opens and then we're going to hit here in about the next 10 minutes up at the 26.64 area and then we're going to push up to this area which we got marked up which is the previous highs of the wick but also previous highs up here with the body body wick at entry right now let's see what happens dinner time today we've got pie mash so not the healthiest option but sometimes you need to load up gonna go for another run tomorrow get them k's up with trading, we call buys, and we secure, secured some sales as well. So we're up around 6% for the day, and we're holding sales right now too. 2627 from 2664. Fingers crossed. On the agenda for the dog, and then for the cat, they have got scrambled egg. Obviously, I give it to them cold. Nice little golden eggs as well. Very good eggs to have. Nice protein for the dog. Changes up the meat as well. And I've run out of his mint meat, so this is a little snack for him. <laughs> uh, let's see the gold setup. One sec. <sighs> These are the cells I'm holding. Waiting for this to hit. And then buys. Come on. This is Manic. No, don't know where. All with me. Kicking it. 